What's going on, all you folks out there in YouTube land? It's your boy, Tony Sanchez with Budget Bug Out, the channel that brings you reviews on quality, budget, outdoors type of things. <laughs> I should have probably practiced that word a little bit better, but I started this channel actually about a week ago. This will be my second video. Uh, so I'm on track to pretty much, I'm, I'm trying to do about a video a week. So uh, today's video is going to be about the Streamlight Nanolite. I ordered this a couple days ago off Amazon and got it in today. And that was late shipping. They gave me hell about it. Uh, it was supposed to be here Friday. Then they said Saturday. Uh, Friday would have been next day, which would have been nice. So I uh, planned on uploading this Friday, but here it is Sunday. It's in, so we're going to do a quick review on it. Like I said, this channel is pretty much uh, geared around uh, survival gear, outdoorsman type of stuff, camping items, stuff like that, uh, but on a quality budget level. So... I know a lot of people, you know, they want the expensive stuff or, or they see the expensive stuff and, and it, you know, looks great and they want it. But there's actually stuff out there that's pretty good quality that uh, you can get at a budget price. So obviously this is not a flashlight you're going to carry on your person. Well, I mean, you can carry it on a keychain. That's what it is. It's a keychain light. So uh, so this is not going to be your, your EDC flashlight. Uh, uh, if you carry a flashlight EDC, I would suggest... Looking into another one, like an Olight or a Streamlight, you, you've got some uh, two great brands there where you can definitely get something for a, a good budget price also. But this is just something, I mean, I, I love keychain items. <clears throat> I mean, I took my other keys off, but, you know, these are just a few of my keychain items. I keep like the Gerber Dime, and I've got like a little SOG tool, and this will uh, accommodate this as well. So I actually got this off of Amazon. I want to say it was actually like $7.99. And the first thing that, that that struck me was that it was Streamlight. I've I've heard of Streamlight. I've seen a few of their products before that friends have owned, and uh, they they seem to be great products. So I seen this for seven ninety, yeah, seven ninety nine. I said, well, <laughs> can't beat that. I got to pick it up. You know, I'll throw it on my keychain or something like that. Uh, so boom, there it is. <clears throat> so we're gonna get this bad boy ripped open. Oh, huh. would you look at that? How convenient. All right, let's pull this thing out now. Right off the bat. What I first noticed about this thing, it is hella small. Uh, I honestly thought that this was, honestly thought this was going to be about maybe two, two and a half inches long. It's about half the size that I thought. This, this, this little puppy is bringing in like about an inch and a half full length. So not a big deal. I mean, I actually like it better like that uh, just because, you know, it's, it's, it's more compact. It's, it's more inconspicuous it goes on my keychain it's not this big huge bulky item sticking out so uh i definitely liked that it. it was a little bit small but yeah it's really small like i said it's we're, we're talking about an inch and a half you know that's my finger right there i mean it's we're not talking about much here so this is your streamlight nano uh this right here this led it puts out 10 lumens and gives you a hundred thousand led life uh led life hours so they say you'll never have to replace the led in your life uh, the batteries it uses is the LR 41s, which are relatively cheap. You can find these batteries. I found it on, on, on Amazon and they come with four. So right off the bat, you're good. And you get eight hours of consistent light time. If you were to keep it on consistently, you get eight hours out of it before it dies. <coughs> Excuse me. But at first when I seen these small cell batteries, I was like, uh Oh, these, you know, look expensive. And then I look them up. And uh, you can actually get a pack of 20, like th this holds four. Let me go ahead and show you, break it down. I don't want to turn on the light yet and ruin my, uh, what I was going to show you as far as the lighting goes. But it, it, it takes four of these, four of these little LR41 batteries, pretty small. And uh, like I said, at first I thought they were going to be expensive, but they're pretty cheap. You can find these. I found them uh, on, on Amazon. I'm sure you can find them cheaper if you actually search the web, but I, I utilize Amazon a lot. I am, a, I am an Amazon Prime member. So for $6.99, I found 20. You can get a 20 pack of these for seven bucks. Comes out to about, uh, I think it was 32 cents per battery. So not not not, not expensive at all. I also found an 11, uh, I'm sorry, in a, a hundred pack. So a hundred of these LR41s. Let me see these real quick. Uh, actually found for 11 bucks, which equates to 11 cents per battery. And on the review, actually seeing a person say that they found them for five cents per battery, uh, which would be about six bucks or so. So you can, you can definitely find these cheap. Let me get these back in here. Make sure I'm putting them in right. Here we go. 
So the batteries are definitely, I mean, you, you get this little bad boy, throw it on your keychain for, like I said, eight bucks or so, and then um, pick you up a, you know, a pack of batteries for about, um, like I said, you can get 20 for seven bucks, or if you want to be more cost efficient, you can grab a hundred for 11. That's, that's what I found, which is about 11 cents per battery. Uh, and you're good to go. And I've, I've heard of people keeping this, this, this light here on their keychain for years and years and years. Uh, all the YouTube reviews that I've seen, Amazon reviews, people were saying that they've had this for four or five years and it was still going strong. The only thing that they were saying was that, um, uh, you know, the branding here and stuff like that, the nano and all that, it was, it was, it was rubbed off. I mean, obviously it's rubbing against your pants all day. So, uh, that's expected, you know? But for a little flashlight, this thing actually puts out a lot of light, way more than I expected. So let me just go over this real quick, make sure I got all the stats. Yeah, LR41s, we talked about those. Cheap batteries, no big deal. Uh, 100,000 100, hours of LED never needs replacing. And it weighs only about a third of an ounce. You know, don't get, I'm, at, I'm pretty sure with common sense, you, you would know not a third of a pound, but a third of an ounce is how much it weighs. So it doesn't weigh anything. Uh, yeah, so we pretty much covered all of it. So let's just go ahead and do a, like, like I'm in, I'm trying to keep this under eight. So we got about a minute and a half. So let's shut these lights off and let me show you how much light this bad boy actually puts out. Give me one second. Let me turn off some lights. We got one light here somewhere. Cut that light off. Oh, we still got the flash on. Oh, well. So this is the light right here. Yeah, don't mind the hole in my closet. I mean, this thing really puts out some... But for something small, you just throw on your keychain? That's... I mean, that, that that's magnificent. That's awesome. So definitely not bad at all. Not bad at all. So... Uh, I liked it. I mean, like I said, we spent eight bucks on this thing. People are talking about how long it... uh. It's lasted them. So I'm expecting great things with them. Let me turn this back on. There we go. And there we go. Boom. We're, we're lit again. About to get lit. So yeah, for $8, definitely unbeatable. Uh, now, the only thing I've heard people saying with these is they say that this top comes off and it's lost and it's done with and this and that. That's simply uh, user error. <laughs> it specifically says in the directions, don't turn it more than a quarter of a turn, which, you know, if my top finger is here, move it this way. Well, it's actually not slipping. That's about it. There's, so these people are turning it a lot more than it needs to be turned. And they're putting it on the keychain. The next thing you know, it turns a little on its own and everything falls out. I don't see that being a problem. It's got a pretty good rubber gasket inside that holds all that in place. So uh, that th those reviews are simply user error. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, if you if you do buy this, just remember it's just a little quarter turn, and you still have a little bit more uh, wiggle room. I think you can actually go halfway, yeah, and you don't have any problems. So, but a quarter turn just to be safe it doesn't take much. As soon as the light cuts off, go just a little bit more, and you're, you're good to go. So, anyways, so that's our budget. Uh, that's our budget item of the day. Like I said, it's the Streamlight Nano. I got this. I picked this up for eight bucks on Amazon. Simply clip it on my keychain here. And uh, it'll be a nice accommodation to my keychain of little tools. Like I said, you got the Gerber Dime, the SOG tool, keychain tool. We'll do a review on that someday. And now you've got the Streamlight Nano. So there you go. It takes LR41s. And that's it. So remember, guys, if you like this video, please show some support. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be putting out weekly videos. Um, sorry about that. Weekly videos on quality budge out items. Now, I, I, I do want to cover the fact that I say quality. Um, some may not be, I don't know. I mean, some of these I'm, I'm testing out for myself. So if I if I order one and it winds up not being quality, I will do a review, a non-biased review, and I will upload it so to help you guys out. So anyways, guys, like I said, like the video, subscribe to the, to the channel. I'll be putting up weekly videos. I've got all sorts of stuff I need to review right here on my shelf. I'm not going to show you. It's going to ruin the surprise. Anyways, guys, this is Tony Sanchez signing out. Peace.